Hi there. In this video, we will talk about acids and bases for organic chemistry. Uh, this is a very very important topic in organic because ninety percent or more reactions in organic chemistry occur between acids and bases. By acids, I mean electrophiles, and by bases, I mean nucleophiles. So about ninety percent of the reactions occur between acids and bases. That is why these topics deserve a special mention. And then we often get questions like deciding the strength of acids and bases. And we also uh, talk about their pK values in questions related to JE or medical examinations. Now, if you understand this topic really well. you will have a really good time learning organic chemistry and enjoy it because as i said 90% of the stuff is just acid base reaction let's go ahead and start with the definition of acids and bases so we will follow the bronsted definition for acids and bases so bronsted is the name of a scientist who gave a theory and the theory suggests that an acid is something which can lose a proton and we write a proton as h plus because hydrogen ion has no electron and so it is a proton so acid is something which loses a proton and base is a substance that can gain h plus or gain a proton h a uh, this compound has an h with it so it can lose that h and it can form h plus and a minus these are the two ions that it can form so this compound lost a proton and so therefore it will be called an acid now if you take a look at the reverse process of this reaction and let us draw the arrow like this the species a minus gained a proton to form h a that's why we call a minus a base and because this h a and a minus differ only by an h plus they are said to be the conjugate of each other so we always have an acid base pair where if an acid loses a proton that is in the forward direction we get the conjugate base and if a base gains a proton we get the conjugate acid if we have hcl which loses a proton and forms h plus and cl minus then we say cl minus is the conjugate base of hcl and if we take a look at the reverse reaction that is cl minus plus h plus and it forms hcl then we say that hcl is the conjugate acid of cl minus so the difference between a conjugate acid base pair is of 1h plus let's say i ask you to draw the conjugate base of oh minus so to get the conjugate base what you need to do is remove an h plus and so you will get o2 minus and in the same question if i ask you to draw the conjugate acid of oh minus then what you do is you add an h plus so for conjugate base you subtract an h plus and for a conjugate acid you add an h plus and h plus and oh minus will become h2o so that is the conjugate acid of oh minus you can take more examples if i give you ch3o minus and 
ask you to draw its conjugate acid then all you do is add H plus and you will get CH3OH which is the conjugate acid of CH3O minus. Let's take NH3 and this time I want the conjugate base. So for conjugate base you subtract an H plus and you will get NH2 and because an H plus went away there will be a minus charge and you will get NH2 minus. So that's how you get conjugate acid and conjugate bases. So how do we decide the strength of an acid? Let's go back to that example and we have HA which gives us H plus and A minus. Now if this acid is strong it will form a lot of H plus and if it is weak it will form less H plus. So whether it is a strong acid or not actually depends on its conjugate base. Now this A minus can be stable or unstable and we know that any reaction wants to form stable compounds or species. So if the a minus ion or the conjugate base is stable then a lot of H plus will be formed and so we will have a strong acid because the reaction is moving towards the stable direction and if it is an unstable compound then this will be formed less and therefore the H plus will also be formed less and we will have a weak acid. So in order to decide a strong or weak acid, all you need to decide is whether the conjugate base is stable or not. Say you have <coughs> HCl that gives you H plus and Cl minus and let's take H2O that should give me H plus and OH minus. Now which of this is more acidic? We all know that HCl is a stronger acid than H2O and how do we decide it? To decide we compare the stability of Cl- and OH- minus. We compare their stability and I will show you how to do that but for now believe me that Cl- is more stable than OH- minus and therefore HCl is a stronger acid than H2O. So in the next video I will show you how to decide which conjugate base is more stable and therefore which acid is stronger. See you.